everyone to your March new moon reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome, welcome, and those who are new. Okay, guys, let's get into here and see what is going on with this new moon that we have coming out. And remember, guys, we're going to have a lunar eclipse this month as well. So I will be doing the lunar eclipse reading and the full moon reading because they have two different meanings behind them. So it's one of those very exciting times, right? Anytime we have eclipses, it's very exciting. Um, so getting in here, we have this full new uh, moon portal that will open. It is opening on the 8th through the 12th. So the portal will actually be open, right? It's two days before and two days after making that portal five days. Okay, so you can actually start all of your meditation, all of your intentions, start cleaning that space and doing all that manifesting on the 8th, right? And if you miss the 8th or you miss it after, right, the 10th of the full moon, it's okay. You still have two days left when that portal is still open. But remember, on the 10th is the super boom, right? Because that's when you really want to get in there. That's when it's really strong, right? And that portal is kicking. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get in here. Um, this new moon is in Pisces. So it's going to bring out this dramatic right? Dreamy like behavior because of Neptune, right? Because of Pisces. Okay. So you want to make sure that you are grounding yourself, right? Don't want to be lifted off into illusion. Okay. So make sure that you are dreaming big, of course, get those manifestations out there. Dream big, make those visualizations. I will also get that manifestation video out also um, for this type of portals that we're having, especially for the full moon, right? I always do before the full moon because that's where we're, especially for the solar eclipse, it's like boom. So, but you can also use the one from last month, right, to help with this one, okay? So you have plenty of manifestations. If you can't find them, they're in your playlist, okay, all the way from, what was it, July or August, all the way through every month. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. You have your super conscious level is working overtime. That's where that dreamy state is also going through. So you might feel a lot of tiredness as well. So getting straight in here, you have Hathor Light Codes. This card is talking about light immersion, full system upgrade, and power recall. Now that's the interesting thing I was just talking about. That super conscious level is working overtime, so you may feel tired, right? Even after you've slept eight hours, <laughs> okay? Because the soul is working overtime in other dimensions, doing its soul stuff, right? It's a busy, busy soul at this time. So if you're having a hard time sleeping, also, guys, make sure you're doing your meditation before bed or do a sleep meditation while you're sleeping to empty and clear the mind, right? Don't want that mind moving all over the place, okay? Because some of you might even have a hard time sleeping, okay? Feeling very restless at this time. Okay, so let's get in here. The Hather Codes is talking about... The light immersion, you are experiencing a full system upgrade. The infinite solar light of the Hathers is surrounding you now. This is the time of expansion and excitement. You are filled with unlimited potential. The gifts that were once in darkness are now being brought into the light. The parts of yourself that were once hidden are now being seen. Now remember, because it's a new moon as well, this is also a good time, what? To also do some... some um, soul searching right look deep within yourself right to see what's going on what's bothering you okay and bring those to light okay life is being restored if you have been experiencing sluggish or tiredness there it is what i say Ooh, spirit thank you for this card right this is now being washed away some something ancient has awakened within you and you're remembering why you are here welcome home to your life and yes you are going to have this sluggish energy that's why we want to make sure that we're meditating putting our intentions out there you know trying our hardest because you're not going to be the only one right this is a collective okay even though it says your sign this is red for the collective okay so going straight over here to that let's get some of these moon cards out and see what the moon cards have to say before we move on this message is please for under the half or light codes conclusions are within reach Ooh, that's an eclipse card too that's crazy because we are getting ready for a full moon eclipse 
Now, some of us won't all get full moon, right? We'll get partial depending on where you are um, in the world. But no matter what, we're all going to experience an eclipse. And even if you can't see it, doesn't mean that the energies don't affect you. It's still going to affect you one way or another. Okay, even if you literally don't see it. Okay. So now I'm getting some of these. So conclusions are within reach. Just, you know, dig deep. This is also going to be a great time for investing. I want to bring that up. Um, I think we'll talk more about that because we actually have the laying the foundations over here. So I think that that one's more talking about those investing um, that it's now time for those intentions. So one second, let's see what's going on over here. We have rest coming out. What? Rest, time to rest and time to meditate. Wow. Okay, so we are resting and meditating. Just like I had said, right? It's time. It's time for you to, yes, deep breathing. Deep breathing is going to come in with that meditation for sure. When you're starting to not feel like you can't sleep, you're starting to feel that insomnia, you're, that restlessness, um, just meditate. Even in the morning, if you still feel like you're tired, meditate. Try to clear that energy away, right? <clears throat> so take. A, I like that one too. It says take a walk, energize yourself. Release that energy. Okay. So very awesome. Okay. I'm getting a few cards over here. Let's see what it says. Well, be careful for people who are wanting to deceive you. Yes, because there's a lot of deception that could be going on around you as well. So be careful of that, right? Just keep your happiness and joy going, right? And be sure that during this time that you are choosing wisely and clearly seeing what's going on around you so that you can get that material harvest for those new beginnings. Because remember, after a full moon is what for each, excuse me, new moon is the new beginning, a new cycle, right? So loving that. So it is saying just watch, watch out for people who are trying to con you. Watch out for people who are trying to be deceptive around you. We are in that that Pisces energy, right? And people and watch out for people who are a little delusional, right? People who are trying to make you believe one thing when you know that's not true. Um, illusions coming up, things like that going on. Um, it's very, very common for this uh, time of the year um, for them to think one way and that's just not the truth right? Whether it's a lie or they're delusional, <laughs> making up stories, right? So make sure that whatever you're doing, go after your own inner happiness and make sure that you are doing what you're doing for your what? Yourself in this way, right? Mind, body, and soul. Powerful three within yourself, clearing your mind, right? Making sure that you're doing things to help you get the best rewards out of the situation. Nine of pentacles okay so going over here the inner earth is the base chakra strength and security laying those foundations now as i was saying earlier right now is also a good time for those investments it is a time to start using that money right for good investments good assets don't just go out and spend money just because you say currency in right or currency out makes good currency coming in no you want to be wise about the situation of how you're spending that currency. This card is also talking about laying the foundations of what? What is it also talking about? It's also talking about you're becoming fully aware of what you need in order to feel safe and fulfilled on this planet. Know that it is a part of the divine plan for you to be incarnated upon this planet now. And although at times you may feel unstable or that you have lost your way, you now have the chance to start building up momentum to be where you need to be today. You are in a space where you can build powerful foundations, a space where you can lay out exactly what you need, who you need to be, and what you need to do to flourish and grow. You have the opportunity to reclaim parts of yourself that have been buried deep within and reclaim gifts you've abandoned. If you are starting any projects or are thinking about taking up something you've had a hold on, now is the perfect time. The seeds you are planting are ascending roots deep into the Mother Earth. You are, you are held. 
you are supported. So they're pretty much saying you're supported, divinely guided, you are watched, you are safe. Okay. And this is very interesting too, because that's also talking about creating what you want to create. This is a lot of, this is talking about the root chakra, but we also have a lot of sacral chakra going on right now as well. Um, okay. It's because this is, March is just a great time to set the foundations for your career. Okay. And money. March just in general. I mean, that's what's going on this, this time of March, right? So get your finances and business stable, but no overspending. Focus on your work, not just fun, right? And watch your money and success and be rewarded from the universe. Okay, so it says you may feel a creative flow and want to create things. Use that creation flow towards your career and also your romantic partnerships. Well, that romantic partnerships is going to be a part of that one of those eight portals that is actually opening, right? I didn't get to that this year, but or this month, excuse me. But um, we did have that was that portal that's opening for that is actually on the seventh. Okay. <laughs> yes. So that seventh coming in is actually going to affect your real or the ninth. I'm sorry, the ninth, the portal, the ninth. Of March affects the relationships okay that you're in so if you want to fix a relationship or own up to a relationship and things are not working then you're either gonna build on a relationship get into a new relationship or let go of a relationship and that's on the 9th so remember the portal opens the 8th through the 12th okay so yeah so that's actually a big piece there because that's going to affect the new moon portal right that other portal coming straight into it very nice Okay, let's get a moon card. Moon card. I don't do new moons very often unless they're very significant, right? Because <clears throat> a lot of times it's, it seems kind of the same. You know, cleanse, empty space, do what you need to do, right? But this one's very interesting. And I think it's because we have these other portals. Yes. A new romantic cycle begins, see? And that's what it's saying. <laughs> what do you need to release? Wow, the two falling out together, that's crazy. Because then it says a personal issue reaches a resolution. See, there it was. You may feel to create the flow, right, of your creative partner, right? Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so we just talked about that. Okay, so what do we need to do? to take care of ourselves with self-care using the self-care cards clarify for our watchers and viewers please watchers and viewers Ooh. clear your energy field absolutely make sure that your energy field is clear right because no matter what these these uh this pisces moon could could actually you know, make emotions run a little high, right? Dreamy, a little high, right? Because of that Neptune energy coming through. Write a gratitude list. That's part of that manifesting. Abundance planning, manifesting. <laughs> Making sure you're getting that abundance planning out. What do I say? Write it out. What is it that you want? When you write out what you want and you put it into the present, right? You're manifesting. Nourish your temple. Make sure that and that's part of that rest and making sure that you're eating healthy and that you're getting the rest that you need. And be still. Just be still. Sometimes we just need to just... Hold on a second. Just take a break. Shh. Everybody quiet. So I can hear. And not just hear everything around me, but just hear. Right? And not just hear everything in my mind either. Just... Right. Hear my higher self be able to just not just hear the chitter chatter around me. Just right. Breathe. Be still and breathe. Okay. Clarify on the overall message for our friends for this area here of this money. And this nourishment, 
Watch out for disruptions. It's the same thing. Watch out for, for people who are trying to disrupt your energy. People, watch out for towers. Watch out for people who are trying to deceive you, who are trying to wear a false mask around you. Um, yeah, it's just coming in again, right? I mean, I really feel like this tower is really with that seven of swords. You know, it's just like watch out for people with a false mask who are trying to, you know, either get you, they could be trying to get you into bad investments, right? Um, and then you have fertility. It's a great time. Make sure your heart chakra is open, right? To receive, make sure that we're ready to receive our rewards, right? So this is a great time for abundance. This is also a great time for love. See that? Getting down to what it is you love. And because we have accelerated motion, everything's going to be moving very quickly. This new moon says, with these manifestations, I want to move everything really quick. Why does it want to move everything quick? You know, it's almost like if this was a live thing, it would be like, everybody raise their hand, right? Why is it moving quick? It's moving quick because we have an eclipse coming. You know, I think we talked about this in November or October when we had the solar eclipse the ring of fire, and then we had the lunar eclipse. Remember what I was talking about, how everything's going to be manifesting really, really fast, um, right? Because it wants to get everything done. It wants that spring equinox to come through and really start giving you the things that you desire, right? Because in, in Aries season, it sees it as what? It sees it as the new, fresh part of the year. The new, huge cycle is beginning, this is, you know, we would say that this could be like the mid part of the month, but in seriousness, it's almost like this is really the new. This is where the, the new begins. And <clears throat> the universe sees it that way, right? So it wants everything that you are manifesting. It wants all those intentions. It wants all that space. It wants all that love. All those things that you need to release need to be done so that you can truly get your New Year's resolutions going. It wants to start that that new huge cycle, right? Huge cycle. Spring is coming. Spring clean. Oh my God, that's it. Thank you. I just heard it. Spring cleaning. Get ready for spring cleaning. Clean out everything that you need. That's for spring. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Yeah, spring cleaning. That's what it is. It's, it's cleaning out everything that's like bleh. Right? Get rid of all the filth, all the ashes, all the stuff that's hurting me, weighing me down. Let's get ready for spring so that we can really have what we really deserve. Keep going strong on those New Year's resolutions. Right? And watch things really start taking control. Watch things really start taking action. That lunar eclipse is making that new cycle change as well. And then remember, in April, we have a solar eclipse. Whoa. Right? So it's like, okay. Plus, we're in the year of the dragon, so we have a lot of stuff going on, and we still have Grumpy Grandpa sitting in, in, in the Pisces right now, wanting those karmic things going on, right? Still there. Got one and a half years to go, right? And then it's all over. Um, but yeah, so we have a lot of things in the uh, solar system, okay, going on. Got a lot of things in the solar system going on because that spring equinox is going to start on the 19th, my friends. That'll be the fourth portal opening, creating a bit of a, of a blur, causing a panic, okay? Asking questions of what you really want. Is this your journey? Time to meditate. Dial in for the answers. It's going to go on your heart's desire. This is where that uh, sacral chakra is really going to it wants to know the answers. Is this where you want to be for the rest of the year? Is this where you really want? And it's going to ask you, and you're going to really think, you might even start thinking, maybe this isn't what I wanted. Maybe I thought I wanted this in the beginning of the year, but I think I'm going to change my manifestation. I think I'm going to change. I don't, I don't, maybe I don't want that anymore. Okay, but don't be confused. Okay, because it could start pulling you in a different direction thinking, you know what, maybe I don't really want that. Maybe I thought I wanted that, but that's okay because that's that spring cleaning again, right? Maybe I thought I wanted that in January when I did my thing, but maybe I don't want that now. Maybe I thought it was a good idea, but it's not. Or maybe I thought, it, you know, whatever it is, right? Or I really, truly do still want that, right? Take that how it's going to resonate, my friends. Okay, beautiful reading. Okay, let's get some angel answers over here really fast and end this video. Ooh. And if you guys like this video, hit that big old like button. 
And if you continue to like these kind of videos and you continue to like my channel, please hit that big old subscribe button. And if you know someone that would like my videos and like my channel, please share this video with your friends and loved ones. It says, if you believe, well, of course, we know that, right? Because the first step is if you believe that all this stuff is even going to happen. And then for some of you, and I'm talking about manifestation, that's what it's talking about. Because no matter what, when it comes to certain stuff, things are going to happen whether you believe or not. We all know that. And then people are going to run around going, I don't understand why that's happening. And I was like, well, because I already told you, right? And I'm sure a lot of you have told other people, well, I know why it's happening. And then they're like, eh, it didn't happen. Okay, well, then you run around blind. Take action. And it's time to what? Well, it's a new moon. It's time to let go. But we say that at every moon. Why? Because every moon is a great time to manifest because every day is a great time to manifest. But moons and full moons and new moons come with what? That portal comes with acceleration within our manifestations, right? And then that eclipse is going to bring in that times 10. So, yeah, get ready for that. There's something better, but isn't there always, isn't there always big happy changes? Okay, my friends, in the next few weeks, watch, watch out. And in the next few weeks, don't forget, I'll have that lunar eclipse and those other videos out as well. Okay, peace and love to each and every one of you.